We're going to be looking at the different types of fans that are used for grain drying or grain aeration and there are four different types of fans that we'll typically use. There's the axial, the inline centrifugal, low speed centrifugal and high speed centrifugal. And each of those fans has their unique operating characteristics or conditions that they perform best under. And we'll take a look at each of the different types of fans and, and what conditions they are, are best suited for. The first fan that we're gonna look at is an axial fan. Uh, sometimes people will refer to that as a propeller fan because when you look into the fan, what you see are propeller blades similar to what you would find on an airplane or whatever. And so this is an axial flow fan. And as you look in here, you'll see those blades. Uh, they'll have different shapes depending on the design, but that mounted into the round housing of the fan is what makes up our axial flow fan. These fans generally are going to be best suited where we're drying grain at relatively lower static pressures. Uh, typically, it'll depend on horsepower, but typically we're going to be looking at maybe five inches of static pressure or less. If we're talking a, a small fan, maybe uh, a horse, horse and a half fan, that might only be able to work at a static pressure of three inches. But when we're talking a grain drying fan, where we're talking five or 10 horsepower fans, those will generally be able to work uh, appropriately up to about uh, that five, even six inch static pressure range. And this fan has been very popular for corn and soybeans as long as we keep the grain depth shallow. But as we start getting greater depths, then we will exceed the capacity of that fan. One of the downsides of the axial fan is it's a uh, noisy fan. And so if you're working with a, a fan on a drying system in your farmyard, uh, sometimes people will shy away from this fan because it will be the loudest typically of the types of fans. The low speed centrifugal fan will be the quietest fan. There are three types of centrifugal fans. The low speed, high speed, and inline centrifugal fan. And when we talk about centrifugal fans, what we're talking about are fans that have the centrifugal, or some people will refer to it as the squirrel cage impeller. Each of the three different centrifugal fans, again, have their own operating characteristics. The low speed centrifugal fan will rotate at 1750 RPM, the high speed at 3500, the inline at 3450. The low speed centrifugal fan is going to have the larger impeller. So physically in size, if we're looking at the same horsepower of fans, the low speed centrifugal fan will be the largest physical size. Because of that, the low speed centrifugal fan typically will perform best in what I call the mid range of static pressures from probably four to about seven inches of static pressure. The, again, it will depend on the, the fan horsepower. The larger the horsepower, the more static pressure that that fan can w develop. But with the low speed centrifugal fan or the traditional type fan that people re sometimes refer to it as, the, the air comes in the side, kind of through a bell-shaped inlet to the center of that centrifugal impeller, makes a 90 degree turn and then goes into the grain bin. This type of fan has is, is become very popular because it will perform very well on both bins of wheat and bins of corn. So if we're drying uh, corn, again, maybe at depths up to about 22, 23 feet, we'll keep the static pressure at a level that this fan will perform very well. And then when we fill the bin with wheat, it's still able to develop the pressure that's required to air dry wheat. This is a high speed centrifugal fan. With high speed, again, we're talking about the speed of rotation is 3,500 RPM. So this one typically will have, because of the higher RPM speed, the capability of developing higher static pressures. Uh, where the low speed, we said typically would be operated in the oh, roughly four to seven inch static pressure range. This fan really is designed to operate at the higher static pressures, probably at the seven to 10 inch static pressure range. 
but it is a physically smaller fan. Uh, the, previously, we were looking at a 10 horsepower low speed centrifugal fan. This one is a 25 horse high speed centrifugal fan. Even though it's a 25 horsepower, it's still physically smaller. That means that at the lower static pressures, it's not going to deliver as much airflow as the low speed centrifugal fan. It really is designed to operate at that higher static pressure. And we can look at the nameplate on the motor and on the fan to get some of that information. For example, this one has a, a, a fan stamp that shows that it is indeed a uh, fan that's rotating at 3,500 RPM so that it is a high speed centrifugal fan. The high speed centrifugal fan has the same uh, makeup as the low speed centrifugal fan. It has the centrifugal impeller, the air comes in through the side through a bell shaped inlet, makes a 90 degree turn and then goes into the grain bin. The third type of centrifugal fans is the inline centrifugal fan. Again, it has the centrifugal impeller. It has a bell-shaped inlet that's bringing the air into the center. But now this one is mounted in a round fan housing similar to the axial fan. So the air does not make the 90 degree turn like it does in the low speed and the high speed centrifugal fan. The air comes in, goes through the impeller, and then is reflected off of the housing and back into the grain bin. So I refer to it as kind of a hybrid between the traditional centrifugal fan and an axial fan. And the performance ends up being somewhat similar as well. Uh, it works very well at that mid-static pressure range, somewhere between typically four to about seven, eight inches of static pressure, depending on fan horsepower. Again, if we're talking a, a three horsepower inline centrifugal fan, it might do well up to about five inches of static pressure, where if we're talking a 10 or 15 horsepower fan, it'll likely be able to develop higher static pressures. One of the things with an inline centrifugal fan that you will find is that uh, it's going to be less expensive when we can make the comparison to the other centrifugal fans. If we look at purchase costs, typically the axial fan is going to be the least expensive. The high speed and low speed fans will be pretty similar and then the inline centrifugal will be between the, the high speed, low speed and the axial fan. The other thing that you'll find with an inline centrifugal fan is that frequently it'll carry a dual rating on the motor horsepower. So for example, it might say 10-15 horsepower. It really is a 15 horsepower fan, but the reason it carries that dual rating is that it is a 10 horse motor, but because we have the air going over that motor, cooling the motor, we're able to load it as a 15 horsepower motor. It's going to use electricity uh, similar to a 15 horsepower. It's performing as a 15 horsepower fan and 15 horsepower motor. And so this fan, it would be a 15 horsepower fan and operate as a 15 horsepower fan even though it has that dual rating. So operates at 3450 RPM. So when we make a comparison in noise, Typically, the axial fan will be the most noisy fan. The low speed centrifugal fan operating at, at 1750 would probably be the quietest fan. And then the high speed, uh, both the inline centrifugal and high speed centrifugal would then in, be in between those two. So it's critical as you're selecting your fan to really know what the performance of that fan is select the fan based on the operating condition that it's going to be working against in order to get the most efficient fan operation.